welcome students of class 4 today we are going to start a new lesson that is lesson number 5 ms word 2007 lesson number 4 is not there in the syllabus so we are going to lesson number 5 which is on ms word 2007 so here we'll go to the following topics here it is mentioned here so first of all begin with the introduction to word this lesson is also very important uh, from the practical point of view. So I'll also be discussing in the videos uh, some practical work. So the lesson will consist of four or five parts of the videos which we go through very carefully. So let us first begin with the MS Word window. So this is the MS Word window when you open MS Word from the start menu so you basically have to open the word from the start menu by clicking on the start button then going through the all programs and then clicking on Microsoft Office then you'll get a list of programs you find Microsoft Office 2007 here this one you have to click it here so you'll get Microsoft Word window like this okay Now the window consists of the following parts like you are seeing in this page, page number 39 of your book. So you open your book and see page number 39. So this is the window given here. First of all you see the quick access toolbar which is on top left corner. Then you have the title bar. So if you see the word window. So this is the quick access toolbar which consists some buttons like save, undo, redo. Then you have the toolbar here which displays the name of the application and the file name as you can see here. And below the and on the side on the left side of the quick access toolbar you get the office button. This is the office button. So when you click on, on the office button you get, you get a context menu with various options. Next uh, you see the here ruler is there, ribbon is there and one thing is the close button is also here. So th this is a close button so if you click on it the, the application will close. Uh, the restore button and the minimize button like here it is minimized okay and then you have the ribbon when you click on a particular tab a ribbon opens up corresponding to that tab so this is the ribbon these are the group of commands in the ribbon this is a font group this is a paragraph group of the ribbon of home tab okay uh, then you have the ruler here you can see the ruler on top some numbers are indicated so these are the ruler and you have the side ruler also okay so there are two ruler after that if you see here there are a bar is there the vertical scroll bar and you have the horizontal scroll bar so two scroll bars are available here is the vertical scroll bar and there will be a horizontal scroll bar when you write many letters okay like here suppose I am writing here uh, so if I minimize it, uh, maximize it, you get the scroll bar here, okay. So you get two types of scroll bar, one vertical, one is the horizontal, two scroll bar, remember. Then you have the status bar, here is the status bar, this is the status bar which displays the number of pages, okay, number of words, how you have, how many words you have written one two three like this so six words are there and total how many pages are there and which page you are current currently working so we are in the first page of total pages is one okay uh, then you have the view buttons here at the bottom you have the view buttons different view buttons are here okay so this is a print layout this is a web layout okay this is a full screen option, print layout that is uh, full screen reading. Then you have the print layout, 
and here the maximize and minimize button is also there so the and the document window and the insertion point so this is the blinking line is called the insertion point from here you can type you can type your letter okay on words and this white area this white portion is called the the document area the document area or document window this is called the document window the white white portion so this is all about what introduction to word this is all about introduction to word from in page number 39 okay in the next part we will start creating a blank document okay so it will be in the second video okay